Welcome back to another episode of Stoffer Garage, guys. Um, this truck in particular, I'm trying to convince the owner if I could possibly purchase it because I am in love with this truck. It is a badass rig. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and get all of the debris pulled out of this thing, all the floor mats, anything that's not gonna be able to be sucked up by the vacuum cleaner out, and get the seats out as well and get this detail going. Now, before we get too far in the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button down below. It helps make all of these videos reach everybody that's subscribed to this channel. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and helps make this channel possible. So help support Stoffer Garage by smashing that thumbs up button down below. You guys have seen this tool in the last several videos, but this is the Foxtail Pet Detailing Brush, and I'm officially opening up pre-orders on foxclean.com, and I will say, if you haven't pre-ordered already, go head over there after this video immediately because I am going to sell out before we know it. Um, these things are going fast, and you will not be disappointed. They are the most amazing pet detailing brush I've ever used, and they will blow anything else you've used out of the water. One thing about this truck in particular is this is back when cars were built with actual real carpet. Like this is carpet that you'd probably find inside of a house at this time in an era of this vehicle because it is so thick and plush. It makes it super easy to vacuum, but also just it doesn't fall apart like today's fabric or have things that get stuck in it that you have a seriously hard time removing. So um, it just made my life so much easier. And I, I wish car dealers and car makers would make cars with this sort of carpet once again. Now, a lot of the times it's hard for me to ever show it in these videos, but with these older trucks in particular, a lot of these bolts go through the frame and out the bottom of the car and are actually exposed to the elements. And the older the car, especially if it's from up north, the harder it is to get these bolts out. So if there's a car that I don't pull the seats in, it's typically because they're so rusted or so um, tight on there that you risk the possibility of snapping them that I don't take them out. This one in particular, I was able to pull out these seats, but I did run into some issues later on that I'll talk to you guys about. Now, if you've never dipped before and ever seen a spit cup, um, this is kind of what it looks like when it falls onto the carpet, as nasty as that sounds, but this is what this is the main reason why I like to pull center consoles because this is what usually is found underneath them around that edge area that you would have never otherwise gotten to if you didn't pull out that center console section.
all these screws are completely gummed up and because they stick through the bottom of the frame, the bottom parts of the threads have a little bit of rust on them. So it makes backing them out 10 times harder than what it would be if it wasn't. So that is why it has taken so long and my electric impact isn't doing the job. So these ones aren't coming out because they are obviously so seized in there that it's actually starting to twist the teeth of my Torx bit. So um, this side won't come out, but I'll show you in a second kind of why this one had to come out because of the amount of stains underneath. Whereas this one, there really isn't a whole lot of stain underneath, especially underneath the rails that make it worthwhile pulling out if I don't have to. And since this is all seized up, I'm gonna skip it. Now the stains on this carpet have been there for a very long time. So the likelihood that we are gonna be able to completely remove them, especially from this light color of a carpet, is gonna be um, very impossible to be honest because it has pretty much stained and dyed the carpet itself. So I'm gonna do as many passes as it takes to get it as clean as possible, but there's a certain point where diminishing returns comes into play and this carpet is no exception. So keep that in mind when you see the before and after shots, they're still incredibly better than what they were before. But in this case, the only real alternative is either pulling these carpets out with, and replacing them with new ones or pulling the entire carpet out or kind of, you know, dyeing a small section of it in particular here to make it look like new again. Like in all my videos, I always have the links to all the products I use in the description box below. And if you're ever looking for a good carpet extraction formula or package, um, definitely check check out the Flex Ice stuff. This is a powder type extraction rinse um, that you spray on before, let sit. Um, a lot of guys that do carpet cleaning on the interior of homes use it and it does a really good job of breaking down a lot of stuff that can be inside carpets. So I found it to be one of the best things to use and it also is low foaming. So you don't get anything that can clog up your um, extractor or cause an excessive amount of foam that's hard to clean up. You can see here after doing two passes with this thing pretty aggressively, um, it's definitely a lot better than it was before, but that staining that I showed there, it's just always gonna be lingering there unless you completely replace it or dye it like I mentioned.
And one of the nice things about this truck was the fact that the door panels in the center console were not as dirty as typical cars that I detailed. The air vents and the cup holders were the worst by far, but um, in this one in particular, I didn't have to use an all-purpose cleaner as strong as I typically use. And in this case, I was able to use an interior detailer spray, which has a um, UV protectant in it as well, but also gives that matte shine at the end and has a mild cleaning property to it. So using something simple like that is what you guys would probably be doing on a daily basis when you clean your car, especially if you keep up with it. Um, it's just enough cleaning power, but also protectant all in one package um, that is definitely recommended when you're cleaning your interior. Now with everything cleaned up, now it is time to use the steam cleaner to blow inside these air vents because not only does it help get into all the different hard spots that even detailing brushes struggle to get into inside the air vents, um, but it also helps kill any bacteria, mold, viruses, any fun stuff like that that we all love today uh, that we need to get rid of, especially inside the air vent AC system. Now in front of the center console area right here, you can see that the carpet is a very light color. It kind of shows you what this whole entire interior looked like originally. Um, I was really happy with how this part came out because it definitely cleaned up really nicely just from dust and dirt that collected on that surface over just having a ton of stuff spilled on it like the rest of the carpet. Now, I mentioned earlier about this interior detailing spray. Um, I've mentioned it early on several videos ago, but my cleaning product line will be coming out very shortly, and this is one of those products, and it has an amazing smell, and it works incredibly well um, that I highly recommend when it does come out that you guys check out. I'm gonna get a little bit old school on everyone, but I feel like that seats nowadays, especially carpets, 
they're not built the same way. I think they get kind of cheaper and cheaper, especially with some of the, you know, more economy style vehicles. But I was really impressed with how durable these seats have been considering the amount of miles on this truck, it being a kid hauler and just overall in general, they're so comfortable, especially the driver's seat. And for how many miles it has on it, they're all in really, really good condition, which is really cool to see. Now this whole rear carpet section was really fun to make carpet lines on. I'm a sucker for carpet lines. Um, I like to do different designs every once in a while, but carpet lines definitely kind of help elevate your detailing game. If you're ever doing a customer car, it's just a nice little touch that shows that you really took the extra effort to make it special for the owner. Now, using steam on carpet's a nice thing to do because it really helps with breaking down any oily based, any you know slime or anything that kind of gets caked in there. Um, but definitely check your towels before you clean anything because this one in particular, one of my ch children decided to um, cut up a bunch of chalk and put it inside of a microfiber towel as a joke. And when I picked it up, I didn't check it before I tried to wipe up the carpet here. So um, luckily all of it came out and it was just chalk, but you know, honestly jokes on me at the end of the day. <laughs> It's hard to think that this much dirt came out of these floor mats, but this is just from that driver floor mat and that rear carpet area. If you do not have a steam cleaner, I have it linked down below to check out this one in particular is just one that I've always used. It's lasted a really long time and been, you know, beat on through all the details I've ever done. Uh, but like you can see here, this rear floor mat has these little black dots that are oil-based. And just by using the steam cleaner to heat them up and a rag to wipe them clean, they completely come out. So there's a lot of advantages to using a steam cleaner, especially if you have kids that colored with crayon on your car or, you know, any sort of oily or like slime, like I mentioned, or anything caked on like gum or hard candy. The steam helps break that down melt it a little bit and it helps break it off those fibers so you can wipe it up. Thank you. 
One thing to note if you're using any sort of extractor, whether it's a tiny one like a Bissell or you know a Sandia or you know a Mighty, any extraction whatsoever, it's always beneficial to use a heated option because it helps with maintaining any of that stuff that you've broken down in the drill brill in the drill brush process. Um, it helps make sure that none of that resolidifies and it does come out much more easily with warm water or hot water. Now this must have been paint or Sharpie or something, but using the steam cleaner was not able to remove this red stain, which I was kind of bummed about. Um, nothing was really able to get it out, so I'm not really sure what this material was or what caused this stain, but um, I kind of had to throw up the towel on this one. Now this rear carpet area, I try to use the steam cleaner on a lot of the oily spots, and then now I'm using the extraction fluid obviously to clean the rest of the carpet, but um, you can see the different color stains here, and before I even started extracting this thing or spraying anything on it, the carpet was damp to touch. So there is some sort of leak somewhere inside the ceiling that's causing it to kind of puddle around, maybe this carpet or drip on it. Um, so I, I'm definitely mentioning that to the owner, and I think he already knew it, but What's probably happening is the water is soaking through the carpet below and the bottom floor pan is probably starting to rust a little bit and some of that paint starting to corrode. And I think that's where some of this coloring and discoloration is coming from. So there's not a whole lot you can do in that case, but through the extraction you can see here in the book, you'll see in the before and after shots later on that um, it definitely turns out to be looking a lot better than it did before.
Now, if you've never seen this stuff, I've seen it on a lot of TikToks and people talking about it and trying to use it and, and kind of showing this product. Um, this is that slime that people use to clean the interior of their car. Um, so I wanted to try it out here just for fun. And I will say that um, it sucks. It really doesn't work. It does get like small amounts of dust as you can see here. But let me show you what is left over even after rubbing that stuff around it doesn't get into all those nooks and crannies that with a detailing brush and just spraying it with an all-purpose cleaner can take care of for your interior detailing spray. So um, in my opinion, it could work to an extent, but you're still gonna miss a lot of stuff and you just might as well do it right the first time. Use your brushes, use your towel, wipe it clean and just get the job done sooner. So this stuff's definitely a bust. So not only was this a cool truck to detail, but the owner of this truck is a veteran, which is always fun to detail and help give back to those who have helped serve this country. So, you know, shout out to all of our troops out there, whatever part of the branch of the military you're in, and also for our police officers, firefighters. Thank you for your service, and thank you guys for watching today's video. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.